Hey friends, welcome back to Trinity DIY 29. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a few weeks, guys, but I just really wanted to give the garden some time to really bloom so I could actually show you guys a big change. So I just want to show you guys because it's absolutely magnificent what's going on. As you guys can see, I have the patio set out here now. I feel like it's really cute. I'm trying to do a blue and yellow theme. So we'll start over here. And as you guys can see, it is raining today, Memorial Day. But look how wonderful this is growing. I'm gonna go probably to Lowe's later and get some, like maybe some clips and some string or something. Cause I'm, this is gonna need something to clip it. I like to clip it to the cage as well as having a cage just so when the tomatoes come on that it doesn't weight the plant down and snap it. But this plant is growing beautiful and this is the black creme. And out of all the tomatoes that I grew this season, this one literally by far I believe is going to be the largest because it was the biggest transplant and it grew the fastest. Right here we have the thorn burn terracotta which is gonna get that beautiful terracotta burnt orange color. So um, you guys definitely should grow this one. I'm really excited because last year I literally got two and it was just sick and weird. Finally, the zinnia has bloomed one of the past, which is beautiful. And I'm excited to see it when it blooms completely. We have another zinnia over here. As you can see, what's weird is the ones in the pot grew fast. All of these were planted at the same time, but this one is like really small. So this shows you just how this one got less sunlight. This one got more, so it lasted. So over here, we got the white cherry. This is a suspect tomato. I do not know what this tomato is, so that's exciting to figure that out. I got another Gelber English squash purple bell pepper if you look it's already like right here putting on some pepper so that's cool and I feel like the stalk is pretty sturdy so it's good I did go through and top off some of my bell peppers I did not top them all off it's just kind of an experiment because some people say that it helps some people says that it doesn't make a big difference so I said I'll be the judge of it over here I have my lesia as you guys can see, something's been on it, so I'll probably dust it, these plants down with some diatomaceous earth. Definitely not today, because it does wash off. Um, but the Gelber English or Custard Squash, guys, if you look close, there's a lot of flowers. So I should be getting some one soon. Tam Jalapeno and the Cayenne. I'm really shocked at the Jalapeno and the Cayenne, because normally they get pretty tall by now. So not sure what's going on there. And I think this is hilarious. I don't even know what this is. I just came out here one day and it was there. To me, if I had to guess, it looks like either a cucumber or a melon. Because you can see that seed cap. So I really don't think that's a cucumber. That has to be some type of squash seed. So who knows? Down here, guys, I decided to do the Golden Jenny melon. And oh, guys, if you look really close, look. Melon's already coming on. Just gonna wrap this so it can train itself to climb up that pole because I wanna grow the melon up this pole so they can get some sunlight. Down here I also have, like this is kinda like a jack of all trades pot. I got a cubanelle in the back, a cocazelle um, squash. I also have some of these um, snap peas, but they're not really doing anything. It's been hot lately, they look stressed. So I probably don't get any peas. I might bring them indoors and try to grow them, but not sure yet. And over here was just another random squash, guys. Do not know what it is, but I will know shortly when the squash starts to form. And look at these cute little plant stands that I found, guys. And guess how much they were? Clearance Rack, Walmart. I paid... Um, $14.99 for one, went back the next day, brought the second one, and that one was marked down to 11 which is crazy. But they're really, really cute. I love these things, and they're going to last. 
but this is the ox heart the ox heart very excited about um i want to get some more another ox heart in here um because i still have some left over from my plant sale so i will definitely be trying to pop those up as fast as possible and i might sit those on my fire escape because i don't want to take away too much sunlight by having too much stuff this is a cute little plant stand guys i got and look it actually i found one that matched my patio set and this little plant stand was from the dollar store it has a cute little cutout design on top it was only seven bucks guys so go to your local family dollar seven dollar plant stands got this up off the ground and this is like a jack of all trades pot in this pot i have um a lot of the bush varieties down here i have some herbs that's some flat leaf parsley with a little bit i don't know how but some if you look down in there some german chamomile is mixed in but the parsley is doing pretty good these in the back are some aromas this one right here, if you guys can see, this little smaller one. This is a Berry's Crazy Cherry, so I'm really excited about that because my Berry's Crazy Cherry last year was really, really sick, and I didn't get any crazy cherries, like nothing like the picture. Um, and I believe that this might be a Roma, too. Yeah, so I got, I believe, two Romas in, or three Romas in here, and one red bush. No, I have two Romas, one red bush tomato, some parsley and a berry's crazy cherries i tried to put smaller varieties in here because this is a pretty big container in these smaller varieties so i'm hoping that they'll do okay but i did say if worse comes to worse and i feel like it's just too much i might have to just pull one out cut one out and sacrifice it but i'm just gonna have to all the ones that have a lot of plants in like this one and this one you need to feed these more than you feed your other containers so just remember that. I was worried about this, guys, but look at my potatoes. Look at these potatoes, people. I need to get some more dirt and fill it in because the more you fill it in, um, the more potatoes you get. As you can see, the purple stalks over here. These, I believe, are the red potatoes, and these are the white potatoes. Rainforest chili, guys. Super excited because last year it got big and beautiful and then it got cold, so I didn't get any peppers. Down here is what I call just I don't want you to die, just a random planting. I just stick stuff in the dirt when I panic, and they were dying, they were struggling, so I just stuck them in here. I have no idea what they are. I do know that this is an okra, so I said eventually I might dig them up, transplant them. This guys is another random container i wanted to do what i realized last year is i did peppers in this for one i don't think that it was deep enough for all the peppers i had in it for two it's just too low on the ground i feel like the peppers just could not get enough sunlight that's why i did the peppers in this container this year and then around the perimeter um, but these are some onions that i purchased and if you guys look real close like right here this is some garlic that i planted as well and then i have a few okra plants in there that's clems clemson spineless okra this is a, i have no idea what you are and it's two tomato plants based on the size and these leaves i would guess that these are probably a cherry type there goes another garlic and these are all like a yellow onion Never grew onions from bulbs, but just by looking at this, these bulbs are getting bigger. They are, because they were really tiny, and they looked beat up and looked like they were not going to work. But I said, you know what? I brought them. They were only $2 at Family Dollar. So I stuck them in, and I can clearly see that they're doing pretty good. I do want to plant more onions. I just have to find a another location. Um, and I do want to do another batch of potatoes as well. Okay, we got the herb garden, guys. Coming along beautifully. A lot of people ask me, is this too much? But if you look at the depth of this container, it's pretty deep. And a lot of these don't need that much. Like I have my lettuce leaf basil back here. We have some German chamomile. I have some green onion. We have some lemon balm. 
that I know that I really did not want these as close, but they were so intertwined together that I just let them stay there. And I was like, hopefully the lemon balm will make it because it was literally a little leaf and the lemon balm is coming in beautifully, but I'm just trying to leave it alone. Rosemary that I need to cut because it's not bushing out. It's literally just one tall stalk of rosemary. So I might do a uh, video, guys, because I want to show you an easy way that you can root all the different stuff in the garden and propagate your plants without having to really do anything. So look out for that video. Back here, guys, look how beautiful it is. This is the long purple eggplant very healthy i mean this garden is so healthy this year and this shows you that starting early really pays off lemon time i do want to get some regular time. Yep, lemon time i do not know what this is but i'm leaving it in if you're not sure leave it in because it could potentially be something that overwintered or something and it's finally grown so i always leave it until i see what it is and then i'll pull it out once i see if it's a weed the Jolly Jester. Marigold is coming in beautifully. Some more chamomile. And guys, this lavender, the wind is blowing, is so fragrant. Look how beautiful the lavender is. And this lavender I've had for years. Lavender does need a lot of sun. And I want to try to split the lavender, but I'm scared because I don't really see two buds. But like I said, I will be doing a video to show you guys how to root your stuff. But as you can see, it's branching off the main right there. Up here are these little butterflies. Beautiful. I found them at the dollar store. Fifty dollar, dollar twenty-five. I really think that they're beautiful. And you want to have colorful stuff that attracts the insects and stuff. But up here are my um, nasturtiums. I'm hoping that they fall down and drape down and look beautiful. I'm sorry about the blurriness, but guys, the nasturtiums are. Oh, they look variegated. If you guys can see, they look like they're variegated. I'm not sure if they are, but I think these are Alaska nasturtiums. Not sure, but I've noticed the nasturtiums really do need sunlight. They're very laggy. Like, wait till I show you the ones that's in the green stuff. And this, I need to work on because this is just mulch and all my plant pots and stuff. But I want to clean your pots really good if you're going to store them in your house because you don't want to bring in any insects, eggs, or anything like that. This is another Gelbert English or Custard Squash, guys, and I'm so excited because, oh my gosh, it has one on it. Look very closely. Look at it. Look how cute it is. I don't want to touch it because one time I touched it in a video and I broke it off, so beautiful. And sometimes a really cute thing that you guys should start looking out for in your garden is that sometimes... You'll find bees or insects sleep inside the flower. It's hilarious. All right, it's, look, there's nobody in there. But, Dad, I got hair on my plant. Sorry, plant. But, yeah, there's nothing in there. But you can definitely see how some of these blossoms dried up. So I might start coming out and trying to hand pollinate down here. This is a purple boy globe. It's supposed to be basically like a Cherokee purple, but it's supposed to be less sick, less finicky and everything. This pepper is really weird. It's sitting in direct sun, another uh, cayenne. It's really just not doing anything right now. It's like very small. I have the Rosita eggplant, which is beautiful in last year. Started too late, didn't get anything over here guys this is a early white scallop squash i wanted to plant more so i probably will start some more because i want a lot of squash this year in the green stalk i have the net on it just to keep the birds out but guys you gotta see this and it's actually very very cool outside too by the way Be very careful. Look, sometimes the plants will grow into the netting, so I'm not going to take it off. I was going to take it off, but I'll film another video and with all of this stuff off because this lettuce needs to harvest, be harvested because it's literally been hot now. But right here we have our beautiful, look how much lettuce that is. This is the sandy lettuce, which is basically like an oak leaf variety. 
We have another aroma bush. Marvel Four Seasons. It's just, I don't know what the hell's going on. They say that greens can do good without that much sunlight. But look how leggy and weird that is. But it did get hot, so I think it just bolted. So once again, me trying to grow Marvel of Four Seasons did not work out. But I will never give up. Over here, I have the Eureka Bush Bean. No beans on it yet, but I see some bean pods. These always get beautiful. Let me move this so I can show you guys. There goes my beans. These are the Royal Burgundy beans. And if you can see, there are a lot of pods on them. And then down here, I have some more Royal Burgundy beans. And these ones, when they grow, they're very, very good producers. Very flavorful beans, Roma Bush. This one is cut off, so I think that I suspect that birds are still able to get in here because I'm hoping and praying that there's no way that there's a cut worm thing going on. Because sometimes if you wake up, your plants are just gone and cut off from the roots. A lot of times, cut worms. So I got the Eureka bush bean. Down here, I got some... Sorry, friends, I got cut off. So um, over here, this, this is the Lesia. Normally, the Leslie and the Grabachis are first. And as you guys can see, always leave empty holes like I do, just so that you can always go in and add stuff. This was the patio set, guys, that I found from Lowe's. It was only like $73. I think it is so cute. This is a rescue. I rescued this. It needs some more water, and it needs some dead hitting and some up potting. I might split it and put it somewhere, but these plants don't really do um, too good. Because pansies is more a cooler, you know, type of flower. But I got it for four bucks on sale um, from Lowe's and it's been doing pretty good. But pansies do not do well in the heat. So, yes. My pride and joy, guys, is this cucumber. I started it in the house, put it in this little pot, and it's covered in flowers. My issue is, where is the cucumber? Like, the thing been growing forever now. And I see, and this is the cucumber, um, the bait alpha. So this doesn't need pollinators. It doesn't need any of this crap. So I don't understand. Let me look. I feel like I should have a cucumber by now. At least one. Just one, at least. But there is some type of weird stuff going down there. So that will be dusted with diatomaceous earth. These are some leftover plants that I have. Over here, guys, is just crazy. Lettuce Central. This is the Ruby Red Swiss chard, doing wonderful. And then I have all those, what is it? I believe it was radishes. The red giant radish that I planted. It's been so warm back and forth that I don't even know if I'm going to get roots. These I've just been letting grow because I don't know what they are. Because I'm thinking to myself, how would weeds actually get up here? Like, yeah, birds could poop, but it just, to me, it looks like it has potential, so I'm leaving it in. This is a pick-a-bushel cucumber. I have um, just dwarf early kale. Just threw it in there because it was going to die. Back here, I have an early zinnia guys can see this was a no-name cucumber I believe because I could not figure out the name but this definitely I need to take um, the netting off now because you really want to have it netted um, when they sprout because the birds will just pull it out but look at all this lettuce guys Marvel Four Seasons it just does not do well and this is all sandy oak leaf lettuce so I will be making a big salad and guys, look. What kind is this? I forgot. But this is finally, look, it's about to bloom. They are about to bloom. My marigolds. I've been waiting patiently. They're beautiful. And then back there, I just have another, um, another lettuce plant. Back to the green stalk. More Chinese eggplant. And then I have a, a long eggplant down there, another jalapeno, another shishito, 
Sweet Marconi's. And it's very cool outside. And we needed this little cool down. My plants needed it. But yeah, guys, this is the humble oasis. And I actually went out and found some of those big water catchers. But the best thing, guys, ever. Wait till I show you this. Look what I have. A hose. I finally figured out how to hook the hose up to the sink. So now water in my plants is enjoyable. It's no longer a freaking chore of carrying 40 buckets of water throughout my house and tracking in dirt, water, mud, and all of that. So if you guys would like to see a video on what I brought and how I did it, let me know. Definitely will do it. But a little thermometer outside. And it's actually really good temperature. It's only about like 70 degrees. But everything, guys, is just growing absolutely beautiful. And I just hope that I can encourage everybody who does not have a yard, who feels as though I don't have enough space. Look at all of this food, just for a second, that I am growing. This is a full grocery store. And I just can't wait to come out here, sit at my table, and go over here and, you know, pick some chamomile tea, steep it right here at the table, enjoy the beauty of the garden, sip on the tea, maybe read a book, you get hungry, you get up, pick you a salad, maybe get some lettuce for lettuce wraps. It's just like such a calming, beautiful thing. So... I hope that you guys, you like, you share, and you subscribe. And I definitely will be back with another video. Right now, I am having issues with storage and stuff on this phone. So I'm going to have to definitely purchase something else. So just bear with me, people. I promise that I will get it together to give you guys better um, content. So like, share, and subscribe.